Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at setting up the placement of the joints. We have a base skeleton here, which is uh, great. And we need to get the position information. So we can see here, the position is accurate for where we need it because this is the root joint. As we move along to other children, we can see, if we select here, um, this should be pretty close to 80 units high, 82, something like that. Um, but we can see that it is not anywhere near that. The reason for that is because they're parented and it's using an offset from the parent position. So if we unparent it, we can see that it's much closer to that 80 um unit value that we had that we were expecting so if i control z that we'll see that it's all connected um so we need to um, unparent these so that we can get the values that we want so i am going to go to the script editor and there's a simple little script i'm going to delete these i'm going to delete one of them so that we'll use it as a base Sorry about that. Okay, so um, yeah, we're going to use that, but we're only gonna run a, another single line right here. So it's going to be MC, actually let me put it right above so that we can use the import. Um, I've been running the same one, version or the same file and I haven't closed out, but if you have closed that and you run it again, you need to import this once you've done it once you don't need to do it multiple times but I'm just going to do mc mc dot select and then we're going to say hi equals true so hi is hierarchy so if we have that selected there and we run this script you'll see that we end up if we look at the outliner expand this we have each one of the joints selected compared to if i only had the um, root selected we'd only have the one so by doing select hi equals true oops we can get it to select everything for us let's try that one more time there we go Okay, so now that we have that, what I want to do is unparent it. So I'm just gonna do Shift P to unparent. And that gives us all of our floating joints. So um, we can start uh, creating the joints with the script now, rather than using the joints we have here. So I'm going to try to get it pretty close to what we have, but maybe try to normalize some of the values. So instead of like 82, I might do like 83. So that way it's at a whole number and then negative three for that value. We can see that it shifts very little. And then um, for the spine and everything in the center, we're gonna keep it at zero. So that's great. Um, Let's organize this into a function so that way we can run everything. So let's do define uh, create skeleton and then oops, we don't need that. I did that wrong. Define create skeleton and then open close parentheses like that. And then I uh, will write it run create skeleton like that. So that way we um, recreate it and then we run it. Uh, we don't need the select hierarchy anymore, so let's get rid of that. And right
right now, let's run this and you'll see that it creates that joint. And also we can see that it, um, because I had something selected, it set it up as a parent. So we don't want that as a possibility. Um, so what I'm gonna do is mc dot select cl equals true. So what that will do is clear. So CL means clear. We're going to clear the selection. So even if we have something selected the way we have it there, it is going to um, create it as its own um, entity there. Okay, so let's uh, select that joint, delete it. Now for naming convention with the skeleton, what I'm going to do is make sure that I have a um, C underscore. So I'm going to start it off with center because this is a center joint. Hips underscore JNT. Okay, and then we can get to that value that we have over here for the joint, and we can see it's 83, negative 3, so 0, 83, negative 3, so 0, 83, and negative 3. Okay, and if I were to run all of this, we'll see that we have a joint that was now created that's called C underscore hips underscore JNT. Okay, so let's delete that we don't need it right now we have it created um, now I'm going to as we're building this kind of make adjustments as we go and I know I can go through and create the whole skeleton like that but I know I want to end it off where everything is unparented like this because I want the user to be able to adjust it for their own character to be able to position it correctly so um, I'm going to make this into its own function rather than the whole create skeleton. And I mean, we could have a create skeleton function, but we're going to also want to have a define create joint. And then here I'm going to cut that out and paste it here and then over here we can say create joint so this is essentially the same thing right now and we're going to make tweaks to it uh, but if i were to run this here you'll see that we still have that joint that is created so what i'm going to say is on this we're going to need a position variable and we're going to need a name variable for right now. And then what we can do is um, have another variable for alignment. Okay, so the position will be what we're using here. Then the name will be the name of the joint here. And then the alignment is the C. And then we know that they're all gonna be joints, so we can use the JNT. If we want, we can actually uh, realign this. So we'll do position alignment and name 
So here we can switch this to be POS for position. Then over here, we're going to have um, the name equal to alignment plus uh, name and then we'll say plus and over here we'll do underscore J and T and to make it a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is say uh, it is plus with an underscore. So actually we'll do that there. And then over here, same thing, we'll say that it is going to have an underscore and then plus. So we're taking the alignment with an underscore then the name, then another underscore, then J and T. So how would that look in the function here? It's going to be, um, let's look at the, oh, I remember it was zero comma 83 comma um, negative three. Then we're going to add a comma for the alignment, and that is going to be C. And then comma name is going to be hips. Okay, so I'm going to select everything and run it. And we have an error. And that's because I use a capital N for name where the variable over here is a lowercase n. So let's switch that over there and push play. And we can see that it creates it, gives us the name that we need, which is great. So I'm gonna delete that. And I know this one's created, so I can get rid of that and then move on to the next one. So this one, let's say it's gonna be at 89 and negative two. Okay, so then I can copy this, paste it. This is gonna be at 82 or sorry, 89 and negative two. The name of this is going to be center and then say upper hips. Is that what that is? No, that's the waist. So let's name this waist. Okay. So we can run this as a test. We got an error. So create joint, I misspelled it because I did copy the whole name. Okay. Let's get rid of that joint so we know it was created. And push play, no error this time. It's positioned right where we need it. That is great. So we can get rid of these. And then let's go on to the next one. This is actually that wasn't the way. The cool thing about this um, is that it's all scripting. So we can just say upper or let's call it lower waist. There we go. Um, and then this new one that we have here let's do 92.5 and negative 1.5 
this new one is going to be waste. And then we want those values. So it's going to be 92.5 and negative 1.5. Play. And we can see that worked correctly. So I can take all of these and delete it. Now this one is the lower rib cage. So let's copy this, paste it. This is going to be lower rib cage. And then let's do 97. Um, negative one. 0.5 okay so I can adjust this 97 negative 1.5 that is great so let's run all of this looks great and you can see that I am repeating this over and over again um, so that way I make sure that I am getting it correct, um, that I'm not making a mistake and it's easy to find because I'm running it every time. Uh, this is going to be 104, negative 1.5, and this is going to be the sternum. Them. and the values was 104 that looks good great okay so this is the upper chest Upper chest, C H E S T. Okay, and then let's look at the values. Let's do one, one, five. Is that fine? Close enough for what I want, and then negative. 2.5 that is great so I'll use those values 115 and then negative 2.5 and this is upper chest run everything we have an error uh, line 9 Again, I mistyped the create chest. Okay, run it. That looks great. So I'm going to delete that, delete all these. Then we have the neck. Uh, let's try one, one, eight and negative three. Is that fine? Yep. Okay. Again, missed the C, so let's type that there. This is going to be lower neck, and then 118 and negative 3. 
Okay, select everything, run it. That looks good. And then I'm just going to delete that one. And I just did Control Z to undo the script that I ran, so that way um, it would be set up correctly. So 121 and negative 1.5. That looks good. We'll call this neck. One twenty one, negative one point five, and this is neck. So let's delete that and then run all of this. Great. Now this is the head joint. Uh, one. 23, negative 0.5, negative 0.5, there you go, that looks great, copy this, go to the next line, so it's getting kind of repetitive, but there's going to be benefits to doing this because we're going to um, make this a little bit more advanced in future lessons and it will work in our favor. So this one's going to be the head. Then um, we need 123 and negative 0.5. Delete that. and run it that looks great now i like these two joints um but i'm thinking because it's an auto rig this is these joints i typically use when i am um rigging everything manually we don't really need it when we're auto rigging um although it could be visually kind of nice so i'm going to keep it but uh just know that these are not necessarily like functional joints they're just more aesthetic so it's going to be 140 uh negative two like that so i'm going to copy this paste it I'm going to name this head top 140 and negative 2. And then let's just do this one really quick. 135. Uh, 13. Do 136. I like that better. Okay. So let's copy this. Run it here. This is gonna be our head aim center. Uh, 136. 13. That looks. Great, so let's delete these here and run it to test everything. So I did 150, which is too high, and I did negative 13. So let's undo these and fix that there. So this is supposed to be 140 then um, instead of negative 13 it's positive 13 let's run all of this great that looks like what we're expecting
Now, um, if we wanted to, we can add a suffix because like I said, these last two joints are not bind, but everything else is a bind joint. Um, so because of that, I'm going to add a suffix here as a variable and I'll do comma or not comma sorry plus suffix and make sure that the casing is the same so over here I'm just going to say underscore bind or sorry not underscore but I'm just going to do a comma bind And I'm going to paste that in each one of these, except for the last two that are not bind joints, which is the head top and the head aim. Um, and I want to make sure that I have an underscore. So let's add a underscore here in quotes and plus suffix. There we go. So now that we've updated that, let's run it and test it. Oops. Let's try that again and run. So I do have an error. Let's look at, oh, okay, because on these last two, we do need to have something. Um, so if we do comma and just leave it blank, that would be one option. So we start off with a comma and open close parentheses. That will work for what we need. Um, we can also give it a name for, within our naming convention. So here we can see we have this joint. It creates it, it has an underscore. So um, that is the only thing that is a little weird. Um, so thinking of a name for this might be um, good to have. So what I'm going to name it is ref for reference. There we go. So we can run all of this and we have those reference joints there. Okay. So I have the whole center spine created and I'm going to repeat this process for the arms and the legs. Um, let's break in this video right here and we'll start up again on the next video where we'll do the limbs now that we have the center um, spine already created for us with the script.